Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy. We're back here on Never Be Nice. We're talking about rent today. This is the safest way to afford rent. To know how much you can rent or what your renting power is. And we're going to do this math by taking three different percentage and we're going to multiply it by your gross income. Now, your gross, if you don't know what your gross is, you can easily take your hourly rate and multiply it by 2080 and that will let you know what your gross income is, which is your how much you make a year. To some people, that is their salary. Now, this, I'm not taking any overtime into consideration because overtime is never guaranteed. I'm not taking any bonus into consideration because that's never guaranteed either. But what I'm factoring in right here is how much you make an hour over the course of 52 weeks, which is roughly 12 months, and um, what you're pretty much making in an hour, and at the end of the year, what you file on your tax, not including bonus, not including OT, but this is just strictly base payment, what you make in an hour. So what you want to do here is that, to find out how much you can comfortably afford for rent, you're going to take your annual income, right, which is your hourly rate times 2,080. For some people, this is 37 and 37.5. So whichever it is, take the service 37.5, do the math. Okay, now take how much you make. You're going to then take that annual rate. You want to take that amount that you get, which is 2,080 times your hourly rate. Then you're going to multiply it by either 30%, which will be the maximum amount that you can afford for rent, 35%, which is the cushion and comfortable amount that I recommend to everybody to use, and 37%, which is the minimum you can afford for rent. Make sure you're not going any higher than 37% because if you do, you're starting to put yourself in a position where you're going to be facing debt, you won't be able to enjoy life. So 35% is the mark to really enjoy life and to be able to afford yourself a state dinner from time to time and go out and save enough money to go on trips. So that is a comfortable mark right now. 35% times your AGI, which is your annual, annual income growth, and then you're going to divide that number by 12. Once you divide that number by 12, you'll start to see how much you can comfortably afford for rent. That's what you want to stick to, that comfortability. You, you want to keep in mind, and you want to anticipate that you're going to want to go on vacation. You're going to want to have that steak dinner. You're going to want to probably negotiate with your car insurance for people that drive. You're going to find yourself in extra utility bill. And life happens. Shit happens, right? So you want to be in that comfortable position. Now, I know a lot of people will you will see places for rent like 2000 something. And you figure that you can afford it. And you go ahead and afford it. But I'm talking about comfortability right here. Now, if you, there is an comfortability that I can also give you. Take how much you make on Patreon. If you get paid every week or bi weekly, so let's do bi weekly. Take your bi weekly. You want one paycheck, which is your bi weekly paycheck, right? Your paycheck you get every two weeks to be able to cover your rent. If your bi weekly paycheck or one paycheck can cover your rent, you're in the safe zone. You're comfortable. You're good. No issue there. If that's not possible, make sure that one and a half paycheck can cover your rent. So this is where that 35% is crucial that I'm talking about. So if you take one and a half, one paycheck plus half of the paycheck, if that covers your rent, you're living, you're, you're right there at that 35%, which is your comfortability, you're fine. If, if it's more than that, you're in debt. And um, you want to get that money up. So always try pay attention to the math I just give you, apply it to your daily life so that you're not living in any form of rent constraint situation where you cannot afford rent and you're not able to afford, you know, live your life, you're not able to enjoy, you're living debt to debt. We don't want that. 
nevertheless is not a boat that nevertheless is a boat just never be less <laughs> never be less so always try to be better always try to put yourself in a comfortable situation make sure that it's working for you and while you put yourself in that position of comfort protect it because there will be shockers out there that will keep trying to come at you and feel like your money is their money trust me you have a lot of selfish ass people out there who will feel like your money is their money so keep yourself in that comfortable position which is the 25 percent i just gave you and um you know rental comfort happy renting we're talking real estate here and go rent <laughs> Yeah, me no need no rest Me a go all low Do the work now, see me call out Be the best, see now me out no do When me step fresh to the gala show Believe in it